set. set. We are very excited about the series of products that were introduced today, including the Work Center Pro, the Work Center, the Copy Center, and the Fax Center products. And with that same excitement, we're excited to share with you a productivity test and race that will actually show you how rated speed does not always equal the actual performance that you should expect in an office environment. Now, in order to do that, Byers Lab Incorporated has supplied us with a series or a suite of jobs. This suite of jobs consists of Word documents, Microsoft PowerPoint, and Excel, as well as Outlook, Acrobat, and these jobs range from simplex documents to duplex documents. Some are stapled, some are unstapled. Some are single sheet documents and some are multiple sets. The pages range from 1 to 28 pages per job. And we're actually going to send those jobs to each one of these products that are up here today. And we're going to send them directly from the PC to the units that they're assigned to. Now, we have studio participants who have agreed to participate with us. And they will actually, on the count of go, press the enter button, which will release each one of those jobs to its respective units. But before we do that, by way of introduction, I'd like to actually introduce you to the products that we'll be racing against. First of all, in lane one is the HP 9000, which is rate, has a rate of speed of 50 prints per minute. In lane two, we have the newly introduced Work Center Pro 45, which was introduced today, and it has a rate of speed of 45 prints per minute. In addition to that, we have the Ricoh 1075, which has a rated speed of 75 prints per minute, and it's in lane three. In lane four, we have the Canon 5000i, which has a rated speed of 50 prints per minute. Now, if we're set, I'm going to do a count of three and a go. And on that point of go, I'd like for each one of you to press the enter button, which will release the suite of jobs to the prospective products. So one, two, three, go. Logic would tell us that the Work Center Pro 45, which has the slowest rated speed, would actually finish last because it has a rated speed of 45 prints per minute. Logic would also tell us that the Ricoh 1075 would finish first because it has a rated speed of 75 prints per minute. And then in between those two jobs, the HP 9000 and the Canon 5000 would finish in between those two actual jobs. But in actuality, in an actual office environment, the Work Center Pro 45 will actually outperform each one of these competitors that's listed today. Now, you'll probably ask the question, how does that actually happen? First of all, we have fast job processing. Second, we keep our paper path full. And lastly, we eliminate system bottlenecks. And just to go into some detail, with regards to fast processing, we have a queue management and a smart controller, which really allows us to perform multiple tasks all at the same time. So if you could imagine while one job is actually printing, another one is being waited to print, another one is, another one is scheduling, another job is formatting, even another job is processing, and even another job is pending to go through the pr printing process. By us having the ability to do all this simultaneously, it really does add to the productivity and performance on the Work Center Pro portfolio of products. In addition, we have concurrent printing. We have dual dedicated controllers that allow us to print as well as copy. Now, to further illustrate to you how we're able to really accomplish outrunning a Ricoh 1075 with our only 45 print per minute unit, each one of our jobs are going through the, the printing process with no gaps in between the jobs. There's no wait time. On our competitors, after every process, there's a wait time. And in some cases, they clear the entire paper path before the next job actually starts to run. Again, we have to keep in mind that not only does the rated speed af affect your performance and your efficiency, but the wait time in between each job has a significant impact 
on your performance. And you can see the WorkCenter Pro 45 has just completed the suite of jobs while our other more faster units are continuing to run. In particular, we could take a look at the HP 9000. Because of the gaps in between each job, it continues to run one process, one job, and then it stops, and then it runs another job. It continues to do that, and while it's doing all of that waiting, productivity is continuing to go on, job deadlines are being missed, and so forth and so on. So what you really find is that with a lower performance unit, a lower rated speed unit, we're actually able to outperform many of our competitors. Now you would ask, why is it so important to have this kind of productivity? Well, we've done some extensive studies into how workflow actually takes place during a business day. And one of the things that we found is that there's peaks and there's valleys throughout the business day. And these peaks and valleys are very predictable. And what we really need to have in an office environment is the capability of being able to perform and keep up with the demands that's placed on the product during those peak times. And as you can see, the 50 print per minute HP 9000 has just now completed the job. Again, we're able to predict these peak times because of the research and development that we've done, as well as outside corporations that we've encountered that has also provided us with information with regards to those peaks. Again, we go over to the Canon 5000i, and it's continuing to run. And in between each process, you can sometimes even see a delay between the next job actually coming out of the output tray. Performs one task, decides what to do next, decides what to do next, and then it actually does it. And again, the, H the Canon 5000i just completed the job. Now, interesting thing about the Ricoh 1075, which is the highest rated speed product here today, is actually continuing to run. And on this product, it's much longer than any of the other products, and again, very much longer than the newly introduced WorkCenter Pro portfolio of products. So now the Ricoh just finished the job. Again, while we're waiting on this job, to act, this product to actually produce the output, timelines are being delayed, calls are being made, productivity is cut, efficiency is not being met. So the WorkCenter Pro really does give you the ability to do the jobs that you need to do at the times they need to be done and give you the output when you actually need them. So as a result, we've seen very clearly today that the WorkCenter Pro 45 outperformed its 50 print per minute competitors as well as a 75 print per minute unit, which actually tells us that superior processing plus efficient paper path and the lack of system bottlenecks really equals the kind of productivity and efficiency that's required in an office today. So as a result, the WorkCenter Pro 45 finished first, the HP 9000 finished second, the Canon 5000i finished third, and the last unit to actually finish is the higher rated speed, the Ricoh 1075. Thank you very much. My coworkers are here, and they're more than happy to answer any of your questions. Thanks again, and thank you very much for coming.